you watch porn? He says, yeah. I said, what, well, do you enjoy the guy with the little one doing it, or do you enjoy watching the guy with the big one doing it? And he says, well, obviously, you want to watch the guy with the big one. This is Nicolas Cage is getting ready to play the man who had a series that stormed the world. Take a look at this. Nicolas Cage is set to play Tiger King's Joe Exotic in a new limited series. Yep, you heard that right. E! News has confirmed that Cage will play the eccentric figure in an eight-episode scripted series produced by Imagine TV Studios and CBS TV. Based on the Texas Monthly article, Joe Exotic, A Dark Journey into the World of a Man Gone Wild. The show will explore how Joe Exotic came to be and how he lost himself in the character of his own creator. Cage will also be executive producing the series, which is separate from other Tiger King series in the work such as the one with Kate McKinnon attached to play arch rival Carol Baskin. And we've all seen Rob Lowe's Tiger King dress up on Instagram, which also revealed that he and Ryan Murphy are discussing their own Joe Exotic project. <laughs> Boy, Rob Lowe <laughs> looks sweet as hell. He he need to be, uh, he need to be uh, the Tiger King. So T-Strings, I'm gonna give it to you first. Are you watching? Will it work? It may work. But am I watching? Hell no. I, I didn't even watch it. I didn't even watch I, I, I watched it for the sake of this platform right here, man. But I, really, I felt like I lost intelligence after watching that. After watching it. You did. You did. Just, literally just by watching that, we all burned brain cells. <laughs> so I'm probably, I'm gonna probably just let that. Uh, I'm gonna probably just let that sit there. Uh, and I do like Nick. I do like Nicholas Cage. Uh, but when you look at his, when you when you look at him, it you he could probably pull that off uh, pretty easily. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that it makes you know get a lot of views and makes a whole you know make a whole lot of money. But what what surprised me the most was that there were two other things that was in talks. Uh, yeah. And, reproduction talks too, and and I'm saying to myself, damn, did folks like it that much? Where you get three and four spinoffs of the same story? Yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. So, this, was, this was power for the deep rednecks. Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> Tiger King was power for the deep rednecks. Yes, yeah. it was. Yeah, I guess. Larry. Oh, go ahead, T-String. No, no, I was wiping my screen off. Oh, Larry, <laughs> it's on you now. I really want to see the one Kate McEwen is going to do Carol Baskin. Yeah, I Kate love McKinnon, I, I could see that when they said Kate McKinnon as, as Carol Baskin, I was like, yeah, oh, I yeah. could really see that. That would be, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be actually kind of yeah. fun to watch her play that role. So, I, I mean, I wish that they were all attached to the same project, but I guess you can't have Rob Lowe and uh and uh what's Nicolas Cage Nicolas Cage as the same uh, as the same character but I can see Nicolas Cage doing it mm -hmm. I can yeah. see him doing it I can see him doing that so we'll see the one with you know the one with uh I guess with <laughs> Rob Lowe and Ryan Murphy now I worry about that one a little bit because Ryan Murphy is sort of a propagandist and I don't know if it's going to be done right or if mm -hmm. it's just going to be you know I'm not going to go into it too much, but he's pretty much a propagandist. And so I'm not, I'm not sure about how that'll be done, but I'm, I'm interested to see how the one with Nick Cage gets done. So we'll see. Well, folks, I will be watching and I will be reporting. <laughs>